iron test. This test is performed to determine your blood iron level when your healthcare practitioner suspects that you may have too little iron, deficiency, or too much iron, overload in your body. Normally, it is ordered as a follow-up test when results from a complete blood count show that a person's hemoglobin and hematocrit are low. The sample required is a blood sample drawn from a vein in your arm. Iron is an essential nutrient for our lives. It is absorbed from the foods we eat to be transported throughout the body by binding to proteins produced by the liver. Iron is a critical part of hemoglobin, the protein in RBCs that binds oxygen in the lungs and releases it as blood circulates to other parts of the body. It is used also to produce some proteins and enzymes in our bodies. Normally, about 70% of the iron absorbed is incorporated into the production of hemoglobin inside RBCs. The remainder is stored in the tissues as ferritin or hemosiderin. If not enough iron is taken in from the diet, blood levels will drop. Thus, over time, the iron stored in the tissues will be used, eventually depleting the stored iron. Insufficient levels of circulating iron and iron storage will eventually lead to iron deficiency anemia, which may lead to shortness of breath, dizziness, chest pain, headaches, and leg pains may occur. Children may develop learning disabilities if the deficiency persists. On the other hand, absorption of too much iron can lead to progressive accumulation and damage to organs such as the liver, heart and pancreas. Recent consumption of iron-rich foods or iron pills can affect test results, as can recent blood transfusions. Also, drugs such as aspirin, oral contraceptives and hormones can affect the test. Stress and sleep deprivation can temporarily decrease serum iron levels.